Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the correlation coefficient using your Casio FX83 GT Plus calculator. So I have here two sets of data, um, smaller ones here, larger data here. Um, I'm going to do them separately and we'll just see two different correlation coefficients that we can get. So in order to input my data, I press mode 2, 2. So mode 2 will be stats and 2 is for this A plus B X. That gives us our X, Y table. Now, these are our X coordinates. These are our Y coordinates. So we start off with the X coordinates. So 21, and then you press equals to bring on to the next line. 22 equals, 23 equals, 24 equals, 25 equals. That's all the X coordinates. Use your arrow, directional arrows here to go back up and do the Y coordinates. So we're starting with 15 equals 18, equals 19 equals 14 equals and 21 equals once we have all our data in we press ac now that'll clear uh, the screen of the calculator but your numbers your data is still uh, stored in the memory so don't worry about that then we're going to press shift stat so shift and stat is up above number one so one then five three equals five will give us reg Three will give us or that's our correlation coefficient and then just press equals and that there is our correlation coefficient for this data so 0 0.439 uh, the correlation coefficient is always going to be between uh, one and minus one uh, it can't be any larger than one can't be any smaller than minus one if it's uh, between zero and one it's positive correlation if it's between zero and minus one it's negative correlation and exactly zero will be no correlation. Let's try our second data here. Uh, so I'm gonna start again. Uh, so mode two, two, mode two, two, then three, five, six equals three, six, two equals three, six, nine equals three, fifty equals three, four, two equals. Let's go back up here to the top. 72 equals 81 equals 85 equals 66 equals 51 equals. So AC shift stat, AC shift stat, 5, 3 equals, 5, 3 equals. So this time our correlation coefficient is 0 0.9829. And this is a much stronger correlation. This is much closer to one. So the closer you are to one or to minus one, the stronger the correlation. The closer you are to zero, the weaker the correlation. Okay, so the um, best thing you can do now is to try these yourself. So input this data here, uh, calculate the correlation coefficient. Input this data and cal calculate the correlation coefficient. Double check that you get the same answers that I did. And if you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.